friends, welcome to another episode of the Rifle Chair YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over the results for the Cabin Fever Challenge. The results are all in and I've compiled them and I have your scores for all three classifications. First of all, what is the Cabin Fever Challenge? Very quickly, it's an opportunity for shooters to get outside in the middle of the winter time. We call it Cabin Fever because you've been indoors a little bit too long. You're looking out the window going, boy is the weather if they're really cold or wet or damp and uncomfortable let's go out and do some shooting in that <laughs> so that's what the cabin fever challenge is all about get outside get some fresh air it's about demonstrating practicing your your positional shooting of standing kneeling prone and sitting and in that order standing kneeling prone sitting so they shoot that five rounds each in each position and they do a mandatory reload as they transition from one shooting position to another that's the purpose. That's the reason for it. There are a total of three classifications, Vintage, Modern, and Bolt. And uh, if you want to know more about the rules, click right here onto this link, and it'll tell you in more detail what the shoot is all about and how, how it's conducted. Um, all of the stages are timed, and that's one of the reasons or one of the ways that we actually derive a score is your total score on target times 5 divided by your time in seconds times 100. That's how you get your score. So you can see there needs to be a balance on on how precisely you shoot and the time that you do it because the higher the denominator which is the seconds in time the lower your score could conceivably be no matter how well you print on the target and, and we demonstrate that in these in these uh, in these scores we have people that scored extremely high but they took a long time uh, so they didn't really score very high on the threshold of, of, uh, of the spectrum of scores but the people that shot fast even though they got fewer shots on target they did very well for themselves uh, one of the first things I like to do is to acknowledge all of you, all of the participants that actually got off their tuchus, went outside into the elements and did this. I got to give you guys a thumbs up because that's just awesome. Um, running and running and gunning and well, not really running and gunning, but certainly going out and shooting your rifles in the winter time poses new challenges that we don't normally take into consideration. You know, running with cold hands, doing reloads with cold hands. Where am I? Where am I keeping my magazines? Where am I keeping my my stripper clubs, so that I can effectively get to them and reload the rifle, change position, safety applications, cold hands, cold rifle. Sometimes they react a little bit differently. Uh, one person up in the up in Yellowknife, you know who you are, was running an M1 Grand. Great, great guy. Uh, and uh, I suspect even the grease on his rifle was starting to solidify. So really, really cold. So let's get straight into it. Uh, class number one, this is vintage. So pretty much, if it's a vintage semi-automatic rifle, this is where, the, this is where these, uh, the classification comes in. Unless it's been tweaked out, then we kind of bump it up to modern. But uh, So vintage applica uh, vintage rifles would be, for example, M1 Grands, SKSs, SAFNs, and M1 Carbines, and so on. The SKS is uh, what, what most people use. Let's start with first place. We'll work our way up to uh, first place from fifth to first. In fifth place is Scarns from Yellowknife, uh, shooting an M1 Garand. Uh, Scarns shot 9 out of 20 hits on a target, at 8 inch circle at 100 meters. And he did that 9 hits in 145 seconds with a total score of 31. Well done, buddy. You went out and sub significantly sub zero uh, temperatures and you shot that. Um, and I just came back from Yellowknife, so I get a kind of a feel as to how kind of dry cold it is up there. So really well done. In fourth place was Sky Noob, running a Chinese SKS Type 56. And uh, Sky Noob shot 6 out of 20, but he did it really fast. He did it in 76 seconds. So he only got 6 out of 20, but he did it quickly. So his score was 39. Um, so well done. So you're kind of finding the balance of time and score. Third place went to Cone Skid Cone, with a, again with an SKS. He shot better than Sky Noob. Um, he actually shot, got one hit on his target less than Sky Noob, but he did it faster. So he got, got 5 out of 20 hits, did it in 60 seconds for a total score of 42. Only three points in between uh, Sky Noob and Cone Skid Cone. Uh, second place goes to Red Rider shooting an M1 Garand, uh, sorry, an M1 Carbine. 13 hits on target in 138 seconds for a total score of 47. And in first place, drum roll please, is Claydmore 
doing an M305 Norinco, or is it just kind of like the Chinese version of the M1A? For, uh, for 15 hits out of 20 in 138 seconds for a total score of 54. Well done. Round of applause to all of you. Let's move on to, uh, oh, and incidentally, um, Claydemore, you have actually just won yourself a sticker from the great people over at Sure Shot Exploding Targets. Have a look at that. Something something to stick on your gun safe or on your locker or whatever you want. Uh, send me an email to admin at riflecherry.com and I'll send that off to you in the mail. Send me your mailing address and I'll get that in the mail off to you. I know there wasn't supposed to be any prizes, but Sure Shot um, got these stickers to me, so I'm going to give them to you. So, um, there we are. Y'all get a little memento. Second class, which is modern. Uh, class number two is modern, so you're typically your uh, AR-15s, Tavors, uh, Swiss Arms, and so on. That's kind of the idea behind this. In uh, fifth place is from the north. He was shooting a Mini-14, and he got a total of 9 out of 20 hits on target in 133 seconds with a total score of 34. Fourth place is Sean C6. Really well done, Sean. Shooting a Chinese T97, 9 out of 20 hits in 69 seconds for a total score of 65. Third place is Sherlock Gnomes. <laughs> I laugh every time I say that name. Sherlock Gnomes. Uh, shooting a Colt Canada, Canada IUR with a 15.7 inch barrel. You got a total of 13 out of 20 hits for an 82 seconds for a total score of 79. Well done. Second place goes to Rifle Chair, shooting a Colt AR-15A4 with an RCO, RCO E4 optic by Trigicon. 14 out of 20 hits in 71 seconds for a total score of 98. Yay for me! <laughs> Second place, oh well. <laughs> and in first place, drum roll please, is Mr. Brian Bolivar shooting a Colt Canada SA-20 with 19 out of 20 hits in 67 seconds for a total grand score of 142. Um, now Brian Bolivar may not may not be a stranger to a lot of you. He is one of the co-hosts for ModernRiflemanRadio.com. Go to that go to the website, check it out. They've they've got some great programming on there, some great information. I uh, highly recommend you visit their website and listen to some of the stuff that you have to say. He co-hosts with uh, Ken uh, Kowalski. Brian does, and uh, they put on a good show for, for all of us and <coughs> for educating the public on issues that concern all of us. And I'm really glad that Brian came on board because Brian shoots um, NSC uh, National Service Conditions, uh, DCRA, DCRA shooting, service rifle shooting, and he kind of exemplified and demonstrated for us the type of positional shooting that you need to try to, to, um, to emulate or to deploy successfully in order to shoot at that at that level in those kinds of competitions so i'm really glad that um somebody of that kind of cadre of marksmanship of credible marksman was able to be involved in the competition and to demonstrate uh possessional shooting for us thank you very much brian however 19 out of 20 hits i think i should be asking you for a urine sample because you may have you know performance enhancing drugs maybe i don't know all right, 19 out of 20 is pretty good. Class three, I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just maybe a urine sample would be a good idea. Class number three, all bolt guns. Now the um, fifth, fourth, and third place are in black and white according to the rules disqualified. Sorry guys, but you didn't video what your your your, sh your shots. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna so you are DQ'd. All right, let's just be open about it. You're all disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're all from a town called Smithers. Dun dun dun. Great town, by the way. Great town. Uh, but let's get into it. Uh, fifth place is Larry from Smithers, shooting a number four Mark I Lee Enfield. You scored a total of nine. I don't have any stats, but your score was nine. Uh, in fourth place is John, shooting a Mosin Nagant. Your score was 13. Again, I don't have any stats. Uh, you know what your actual score on target was and your time and all that stuff all he gave me was a score so I'll I'll just give you the scores so fourth place was John with a Mosin Nagant great great rifles I love them third place was Lance again with a number four mark one 
for a total score of 14. Larry, John, and Lance. Now in second place is a great guy, a great guy. Um, he's, uh, he's developing, he's starting to develop his own YouTube channel. So uh, I'll, I'll put a link right here, go check it out. He's just starting off, just starting off. <laughs> I'm, I'm, he may pursue it, he may not, I don't know. But Tudena was shooting a Model 38 Swedish Mauser in 6.5 to 55 Swedish. Scored a total of 11 out of 20 hits for uh, total uh, in 119 seconds for a total score of 46. Well done, Tutanam. It was it was fun shooting with you. And in first place for class three for bolt guns is rifle chair shooting the savage number four mark one star, 16 out of 20 hits in 104 seconds for a total score of 77. Now I am um, I'm going to uh, to gift my top prize because I'm I'm the host of the shoot. And I've already got one of these for myself, so I'm going to gift that to Tudenam for being such a good sport. So that's it uh, for all three classifications, but I'll give you the top five overall scores, all um, classes combined. In fifth place is Sean C96 with the T97, score 65. Fourth place is Rifle Chair shooting a Lee Enfield bolt gun, 77. Third place is Sherlock Gnomes with a Colt IUR, 79. Second place is Rifle Chair with a Colt AR-15A4, score of 98. First place, drum roll please, is of course Brian Bolivar shooting a Colt Canada SE20 with a total score of 142. Thanks very much to all of you again. For your, if you're a first place shooter, send me your, uh, your contact information over email at admin at riflechair.com and I will, uh, with your mailing address, and I'll send you your, your Sure Shot Exploding Target sticker. All right, thanks folks. Thanks for uh, being involved in the competition. We're going to show you some of the. Uh, we'll show you the video for the top three shots for each class. After this, and uh, enjoy. And as always, thanks for being involved. And Maple Leaf up.
Leaf up! And city.